today um yeah I know I said I was gonna do it more often but I'm sorry I have just been doing too many other things a lot of these I've already used before so I won't really talk too much about them but some of them are new let me get my smoothie out of the frame okay <laughs> okay so let's just jump right in this peach and lily glass skin refining serum okay this is actually one of my favorite serums i love this stuff it just really really makes my skin look luminous and glowy underneath my foundation and i don't know i'm just noticing that i really really like that i've had this for a while i've used it several times um it's getting lighter and lighter but yeah i really really like this stuff you guys okay so for moisturizer i did choose this touch and soul glassy this is the pretty filter glassy skin balm and this i really really love as well i'm almost done with this there's you know just a little bit left in there and i really like this as well it pairs very nice with that serum because it gives you that kind of glowy glassy skin underneath your makeup as well so I really like using those two products together they work really nice okay for primers I really really enjoyed my primers this go round, you guys um, I did mention this Huda Beauty what is this stuff called the water jelly primer um, I mentioned this before because when I purchased it I used it I like this stuff I find that I really like the kind of like water filling just super hydrating primers it just feels really nice on the skin it's not cakey it doesn't do anything for me as far as filling in pores and blurring out my skin but as far as hydration very very nice and I also pulled my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. You guys know I really like this primer as well. Um, it gives me that same type of feel, except, of course, this one is tacky. So it's like you get a little bit of tackiness on your face before you put your foundation or concealer or what have you on. And it just kind of helps set that makeup in place. So I really like this as well. This was just a small one that I had. And as you can see, I'm running through it pretty well. Okay, concealers. I grabbed my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Hadn't used this in quite a while. This used to be like one of my OG favorites. And while it is still a very nice concealer, has nice coverage, blends out pretty well, I found that this was more drying than I remember. I don't know, it's weird. Maybe I'm just getting used to a more dewy or you know not so matte concealer under my eyes I don't know because I used to be matte 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 everything but now I'm moving more towards kind of natural dewy type looks or at least I prefer those so still a good concealer but no longer my favorite for sure this one here this Kylie Jenner that I got free um, during an Ulta purchase what shade is this almond very nice shade um i feel like i wish no i don't know do i do i wish this was a little bit more golden it's not extremely brightening on me you know but it is a very nice concealer shade you know if you just like a little slight amount of brightening i do like the consistency and coverage of this i didn't have any issues blending it out so it actually worked Pretty nicely for me so I do like this okay so for foundations I did choose 
this Clinique Super Balanced Silk Makeup. This one has SPF 15 in it. I picked this up on sale, I believe, from Sephora. It was like 20 bucks um, in their sales section, and I wanted to try it out. I don't believe I even had any other Cliniques before I picked up this one and the other one that I grabbed, but it's actually a really, really good foundation as far as coverage goes. Now the shade that I have is Silk Sable. It works for me. When I first put it on, it's like, uh, it's a little too light, but because it blends and just kind of meshes into your skin, it worked out. I was pretty surprised. It worked out for me because it blended into my skin tone so well. It just kind of like brightened the hyperpigmentation areas on my face and then you know the lighter areas of my skin it just blended in seamlessly so it kind of brought everything together so yeah at first I thought it was too light but it actually works quite well this is matte though it's very matte at least for me so if you don't really care for a matte finish you might not like this but I like it and I also pulled my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Hadn't used this in I don't know how long. I believe I have Espresso, yeah. And nice foundation, nice coverage for sure. Um, it's a little bit warmer than I need right now. <laughs> a little bit warmer, maybe because I haven't been out running around in the sun all summer, but yeah, I actually like this foundation. This one actually is matte on me as well, but this is a really good foundation. Um, it's just a little warm for me right now, the shade. Okay, this, I don't think, this was not part of my Shop My Stash. I did end up pulling this, this ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer, just because sometimes when I go out with my husband and I want to have you know a nice makeup look but not for it to be like full full coverage and full full beat you know just something to kind of really make my face look nice and even and more of a natural type finish i definitely gravitate towards this or the fenty what is it the fenty skin tint stuff like that so this ended up in my shop my stash for that reason i use deep dark 21w I love this stuff. This stuff is perfect if you don't like super major coverage, but you do need some coverage <laughs> like me. This works great. And then when you pair it with like a powder foundation or a really nice setting powder, um, you really can get a really good coverage. So yeah, I like this. like it a lot. Okay, I have my setting spray and my mascara that I've been using. I pulled the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray 16 hour. This stuff is bomb. I really can't say much more about it. It works really, really well. It does hold my makeup in place when I'm out and about all day, um, even with my mask and everything. So yeah, this Milani Make It Last is great, you guys. The mascara that I've been using is the LA Girl Jet Setter Mascara. And this is a nice mascara for a um, you know, more affordable drugstore type brand. That's what the packaging looks like. Let me see if I can show you this wand. So that's what the wand looks like. I feel like it's getting thicker for me. You know, the more that I use it, the thicker it gets, the more that I open and close the container. So yeah, it's getting a bit thick and probably pretty soon I won't really like it you know it'll be too thick but it's actually a really really good mascara you guys so i like it i would say it gave me more fullness than length it does add a little bit of length but more volume for me than length okay so let's talk about some powders now i do have some powders in here that i did not choose for my shop my stash the two i chose for my shop my stash were these l'oreal infallible powders I love them. They're my absolute favorites. Well, can I say they're my favorites? I don't think I could say they're my favorites. I just really, really like them. <laughs> they're foolproof for me. Um, I never have any issues if I want to make sure that my face is set the way that I want it to be set and look nice and smooth and kind of blurred out. These work well for me. Now, these two NYX powders, the can't stop won't stop mattifying powders 
I do not know if these are new or not. I just know that they're new to me. They were not originally in my Shop My Stash, but they ended up in my makeup stash because I did purchase them over the last month. Now, the light one, which is golden, works really, really well under my eyes. It really, really does. I really enjoy it. It's a little bit lighter than I prefer for under my eyes, but I'm able to finesse it and it works just fine. The darker one that I have for the rest of my face is Mocha, and I really like this as well. These powders I find are quite light. They're not heavy. You don't feel like you're caking a whole bunch of powder on your face when you use these. It's just a night, nice light covering um, to set your foundation and your concealer. And I really, really enjoy that. It's not, it doesn't leave me feeling cakey, if that makes sense. So yeah, I actually enjoyed these and yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put these back. Okay, so let's talk about bronzer. Uh, this has a bronzer in it, but it is like a, a double, double action situation. But okay, so for bronzer, I said I wanted to go ahead and try this beauty bakery brownie bar again if you watched my face palette video i was talking about how i didn't really care for this when i first used it because i don't know <laughs> i don't know why but after using it again for the last month or so quite actually i found that i am able to build this bronzer up i think that was the problem for me i felt like it wasn't giving me enough punch for a bronzer but i am able to build this up and it worked out just fine so yeah as i got more acquainted with it more familiar with this little face palette i feel it's very nice the highlighter is very very pretty very gorgeous and this you know as a blush it actually looks really nice i would use it i guess more around the fall it kind of gives me that fall type feeling but yeah, I don't have the same negative feelings about these because I was going to just declutter this. But after getting more familiar with it over the last month, I actually quite like it. Also for bronzer, I pulled this Alamar Cosmetics Brighten and Bronze Complexion Trio. This one is this, yeah, it's dark rich. So this one has these shades in here. I really just use the bronzer and this bronzer is bomb, okay? I really, really enjoyed using this. It looks really, really nice on my skin tone. I didn't have any issues with pigmentation. It blended out nicely, so I really enjoyed this. Now y'all, I am realizing that I really don't care for cream products like cream bronzer and contour now blush cream blush is fine I don't have any issues with cream blush I actually quite like cream blushes because the ones that I have I can apply them over my powder and things like that and they actually look really nice but the cream bronzers and contours and stuff is not that they don't look nice on me because they really do I just don't prefer to do my makeup that way. I prefer to control my contour and bronzer through powder, <laughs> you know, after I have my setting powder and stuff on. So this e.l.f. putty bronzer, though, no complaints. It looked gorgeous on me. And the shade that I tried out was Sun Kissed. And the Sun Kissed works perfect for me. I will um, I try the other two, the lighter one that I have and the darker one that I have as well. But this one is perfect for my skin tone. It looks great. It blended out nicely. It is nicely pigmented too. Really nicely pigmented. So yeah, it's it's a great product, but I just find for me personally, I prefer to control my bronzer and contour through powder. Now this little palette here or this duo <laughs> that I was just, oh my gosh, so in love with from Jaclyn Hill. I love the packaging, of course. It's like this thick, chunky, blocky type packaging with this raised J on here. So pretty, okay? This one is Be Rouge and <laughs> Be Rouge and Espresso Shot. And this is what it looks like in this actually really really surprised me i was not thinking that this was going to work as well for me as it did <laughs> i love this little duo you guys the bronzer 
looks beautiful on me. It's so smooth, so silky, blends out so effortlessly, and the blush, absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I was really surprised at this because I was like, that is not going to show up on me. You know, the bronzer, but it did, okay? So really, really like this a lot. Okay, so let's talk about some blushes. I don't even, how did I end up with so many blushes, you guys? I don't think, well, first of all, this NARS blush, um, I think this came in like one of my BoxyCharm boxes or something like that. This is Orgasm from NARS. And I really wanted to just try it out because of the fact that it's so freaking popular you know it's supposed to be popular it's supposed to be for everybody you know it's for the streets so i wanted to try this out and so i threw this in my makeup drawer and um i was really surprised when i looked at it i was like okay it's pretty light it's kind of glowy so let's see what happens this looks like a highlighter on me straight up highlighter no blush <laughs> okay it's it's weird, you know, because it looks, you know, you can see that hint of like pinky peach or whatever, but it's really when you blend it out on my skin tone, it's it's a highlighter straight up. You see that? I tried my hardest to get this to, to blush, to be a blushy blush for me. But yeah, no, it's a highlighter for me. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's all I have to say about this. It's it's. A highlighter for me okay next I have here this Jacqueline um, I believe yeah okay so this is turned on it's a highlighter illuminator whatever you want to call it beautiful packaging once again um listen this first off is gorgeous okay no doubt about it it's gorgeous but it was very very confusing for me when I used it just because of the fact that it's such an even balance between being a highlighter and looking like a blush on me that it was hard for me to incorporate it on my face if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense it's kind of like either you have to really really want a seriously illuminated blush or you have to want a colored highlighter and I'm like I don't want either of those right now. <laughs> so it just, and it's, oh, it was so crazy because look how gorgeous that is. You see that? Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Look at that. Oh Lord, it's gorgeous. But when I put it on my cheeks, of course you can see the color which is beautiful so it gives you like that blushy type look but when i put it you know on the high points of my face to use as a highlighter i was like uh, i don't want that much color in there you know what is happening so it just kind of left me in a very strange in between place with this it's a highlighter but it has enough color to make me feel like I'm putting on blush so yeah I don't know you guys I, I don't know I don't know it's gorgeous it's beautiful I just don't know how to incorporate it with what I like my face to look like <laughs> if that makes sense you know what I mean okay so next I pulled this Nika K red glam this is her little like one of her blush and highlighter palettes absolutely amazing affordable blush quad if you're looking for something you know not too expensive nicely pigmented blends out smooth on the skin where you have a few different options of shades and a beautiful highlighter this will work amazingly for you so definitely check it out this is from Nika K and then I also pulled this BH Bellini I don't think I pulled this during my shop my stash though you know how I ended up throwing this in my makeup drawer is because I was going back and forth. I really, really wanted to order those Jaclyn Hill blush palettes. The six pan blush palettes that she has, the one that's kind of more berry and the one that's kind of more peachy. 
And I was just like, man, I do not want to spend $45, $49, whatever it is, for some more blush. First of all, I need no more blush. But I'm like, I know I have something that will scratch that itch. I'm telling you, I have both of those blush palettes in my cart. And I was like, honey, I'm not about to spend $100 on blush today. Not going to do it. So I started digging through my blush palettes to kind of scratch that peachy itch. And I pulled this Bellini from BH Cosmetics. And this is actually one of my favorite peachy tone blush palettes you know or selection of blushes these look absolutely gorgeous on the cheeks nicely pigmented they blend out nice and smooth and if you like that nice peachy tone like i do then yeah you'll really really love this this is absolutely gorgeous and it definitely scratched that itch so it saved me like 50 bucks okay so <laughs> that's how this ended up in my makeup stash and then Lastly, for the complexion, I have these highlighters. So this Bold and Brilliant highlighter from Gourmand Girls Cosmetics. This was sent to me to try out. Look at that rainbow reflection there on the palette. It's so pretty. So they sent me this to try out. I did use it a few times. Very, very nice. I only went in with the dark one, you know, because that's the one that I gravitate towards very very pretty nicely pigmented i did swatch all of these um i don't remember when but <laughs> very very nice highlighter palette next i have this huda beauty nymph okay and this is like a cream illuminator it's called juno and it's a nymph glaze skin glowing perfector so yeah i have found that um the Huda Beauty products that I've been diving into and trying recently, I really, really like. So I'm quite surprised. But yeah, I'm really enjoying trying out Huda Beauty. And so this is gorgeous, you guys. Absolutely beautiful. It's a cream. So, you know, if you don't like dealing with cream type um, products, then you might not like this, but you can use this like all over your body. You can use this on your collarbones and stuff like that, but it really gives your skin, you know, your cheekbones, just a really nice, brightened, glowy look. And it doesn't look like you just stamped highlighter on your face. So I like that about this. It's just really pretty. You see that? It's really, really pretty. So anyways, but it's a cream. And then last for highlighter, I did pull this, um, is this Touch and Soul? Yeah, Touch and Soul Glodiant Makeup Palette. It's like their new little um, glowy face palette thing. And it's really gorgeous. I just, I love the gradient in here. And I love the fact that, you know, it's like for different skin tones, you can use everything in here for different ways or different reasons. You know, some people might be able to use this to bronze with, not me, of course, um, as blush as well as highlight. So I just gravitate to this area over here to get my highlight on. And it's really, really pretty. Let me just kind of show you. Um, oh, look at that. Look at that just show you what these kind of look like this one has like a a peachy gold well shoot this one too but anyway that's what some of those look like this darker one here is gorgeous as well i don't know if you can see that but see how that for me that would be a beautiful illuminator but it just kind of you know meshes in with the skin Oh, I love this thing. I'm so glad I went ahead and got it from the Boxy Pop-Up. Now, I don't know if you guys care about the lashes that I have used over the last month or so. I just kind of keep a few close by me. Um, I have really enjoyed these Kiss Lash Couture Triple Push-Up Lashes. This one is, is the, <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> This one is in the style Teddy. So these are really fun, flirty you know have the spaces in between the lashes a little bit more full um so these are really really nice 
These are some Profusion Iconic 3D Faux Mink Lashes. These are really nice for just kind of like your lashes, but better. You know, they have that natural feel to them, but it's like you kind of, it kind of makes your eyes pop, but not anything dramatic, you know? So these are really cute. Um, What else did I use? I used these from Profusion as well. These are some iconic lashes in Oh Darling. These are kind of like that natural look as well, but just a little bit more full, a little bit more bushy. Um, and then these, <laughs> these I purchased on sale, um, I think from Ulta. Yeah, Kiss Lash Drip Spiky and Boosted Volume 3D Drama Wet Effect. So... I didn't realize that these were like wet effect lashes when I ordered them. And when I got them, I was like, okay, how are those going to look on me? But I actually really liked them. My hubby liked them too. He was like, oh, those are really cool. So yeah, they're pretty dramatic, but they look really cool on. And they do have like that wet look to them. So anyway, those are just some of the lashes that I wore during this last shop my stash. And I thought I would just share some of those with you guys. Okay, so let's move on to these palettes. These are the palettes that I played in. I didn't really do a lot of eyeshadow over the last month. I know with my last Shop My Stash, I picked a lot of palettes to play in. But I found myself not really doing as much um, eyeshadow and stuff over the last month as I typically would have done. So, anywho, let's just run through these right quick. This Glam Shop Glam W Moral Palette, I played with this. I really like that little camo um, look on there. I was just itching, not that I don't already have Army Green Shadows and Army Green Palettes, but I was really, really itching for something with like an Army green color story um i did do a video on this so you probably already know my thoughts glam shop has the most amazing shimmers that's just what i'm gonna say off top they're absolutely gorgeous they're mattes very nice as well this was my first time trying out the mattes blended out without any issues or problems very nicely pigmented but um i feel like this palette should have had one deeper darker shade because i was not able to deepen up my eye look as much as I want it to and I think that would have taken it to that true um, next level of camo you know what I mean like I needed something a little darker to take it to that camo look but this is the palette it looks gorgeous I really enjoyed it next I have here my Codan I believe that's how you say it Codan palette from Adept Cosmetics okay I ordered this palette could not wait to receive it. It is so beautiful. <laughs> it's so, so beautiful. I really enjoyed using this. I need to play with it some more. I honestly only used, I think, like two or three shades for the look that I created with this. I mean, it's a very eclectic color story. So a lot of people might use this as a companion palette. I used it standalone, you know, because you guys know I love bold, bright colors and I don't mind mixing different things. But yeah, worked out so easily, so effortlessly. But I, I love Adept Shadows. They're, to me, just getting better and better and better with their formulas, their color stories, their textures, just everything that they're coming out with is beautiful. So yeah, just add this to my collection of beautiful Adept palettes. Is gorgeous of course I did use my Jackie Ina this was not pulled for my shop my stash but I did just want to use it one day so I pulled it look at that packaging you guys yo <laughs> so anywho yeah I did use this I just created a very simple easy basic kind of pinky you know ready pinky type look and it came out nice. I mean, ABH, their shadows are great, amazing. 
So I really enjoyed that. Next, I tried out this Spectra palette from Gourmand Girls Cosmetics. They sent me this to try as well. It's a collab with Krista Rice Makeup. And look at the packaging, so cute. And this palette, very, very pigmented, okay? Very nicely pigmented. I had a lot of fun with this. I just kind of played off of the color story in here with the purple and then the bright green, you know, the color on the cover of the palette. And I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun doing this kind of crazy halo eye with a bright green liner. Um, this palette performed really, really well. I don't have any complaints about it. It was nicely pigmented, blended out easily. The hardest part for me was doing the eyeliner, which had nothing to do with the palette, okay? So yeah, I really enjoyed this. Okay, so next, this Alien Cosmetics Bunny Palette. Um, look at that packaging, that artwork. So cute, little seductive, little sexy, little naughty, okay? But yeah, this is the Bunnies palette from Alien Cosmetics. And if you are a regular viewer of my channel, you know that I, when they teased this, I went and, you know, did a whole video trying to dupe this palette out or, you know, just kind of create the color story vibes. And it was a lot of fun. And I did that just to kind of see you know, do I want to buy that palette? Do I want this color story? And I actually did. And this palette is 10 times better than the dupe that I created <laughs> because I had no idea there were so many beautiful like duochrome shimmers in here. Y'all, this palette is gorgeous. Do you see that? Look, I bet you didn't think that that was going to come from this, did you? Look at that crazy let me just do a few little swatchy swatches for you guys from this palette oh, look at that ciao my little dupe palette did not have nothing on this palette okay this palette is gorgeous and yeah there are you know you probably can't see it but yeah there are duo chromes in here that would just blow your freaking mind. Look at that. Ciao. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, but it was still a lot of fun and this palette is really gorgeous. Nicely pigmented. Okay, and then lastly for the palette section, I did try this new Beauty Bay Wilderness palette. <laughs> um, Look at the packaging. Can you see that with the little gold flecks on there? So pretty, man. Well, my girl DJ sent me the teaser for this palette and I saw the color story. I was like, girl, immediate. <laughs> Go to website, add to cart, click pay, buy, I'm out. <laughs> you know, it was like immediately give her to me, okay? So this is the color story in this palette and it's like, they just, I think they really knocked it out the park with this the greens are gorgeous and then have that surprise of that row of red tones and then the kind of like i don't know what is this like aqua aqua shades to coincide with the blues honey listen this palette and then the beauty bay formula really really good formula and these palettes are so freaking affordable i don't know was this like 15 bucks you guys child <laughs> you just can't beat it i love all of their palettes like this the what is this the 20 pan palettes and there's a mirror in there for like 15 bucks and if you can get it on sale it's even cheaper yeah so it's um it's beautiful i really have fun with this and yeah this was one of those palettes you know where you see it and you're just like i'm buying it no question don't talk to me I want it so yeah got that okay you guys so that's it for the review portion let's go ahead and shop for some new stuff guys, so I've moved my room around a little bit so my foundation is in a different place but I literally have no idea um, what foundation I want to use for the next few weeks no idea 
Now, when I first tried this, it's all wiped off, but this one is Black Radiance. I think I picked these up from Walmart for just like two or three bucks and I fell in love with this stuff. This is a shade Caramel. When I first used it, I have not used these in so long, but I loved it so much that I actually bought backups for this. So I want to pull this now that I'm looking at it and just kind of see if I still really love this because this foundation, I'm telling you, I probably paid about three or four bucks for it at the most from Walmart and I mean I hate that the writing rubs off so easily but it looks like what color perfect liquid makeup from Black Radiance yeah so I'm gonna pull this one just to see if I still like it okay um let's come up here to a little bit more fancy schmancy stuff mmm I think I only, jeez, did I like this Gucci? I feel like I only used this Gucci just that one time to try it out. And I don't remember if I liked it or not, you guys. Did I like this? I'm gonna pull this. I'm gonna pull this. <laughs> Why do I feel like pulling three foundations, you guys? Why? You know what? I wanna try the Rare Beauty again. Because I feel like when I tried it, I was like, oh, yeah, it's decent. It's cool. But, you know, I'm I'm really wanting to see how I feel about this. So this is 480W. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that for the Gucci. The Gucci Lucci. What is this? 410W. Okay. So we got three foundations, you guys. Why? I don't know. But I'm pulling three. Okay. So let's come over here to the drawers. Um and i've kind of been doing like a different type of setup to see if i prefer it so instead of having all of my serums on one of these like little spinny things where you can see my um setting praise <laughs> setting praise setting sprays are still on i put them down here just to see if it would be a little bit easier for me to rummage through um, but I do kind of want to keep it simple. All of these up front are like oils. I have some of my more kind of favorite serums over here, but, and then I do have some in the back. I would have to put the camera down to get to those. So let's just keep it simple. I know, mm, I don't really care for this one that much. It's kind of like a mix of like water and oil. And it's just not my favorite. <laughs> so I'm going to pass on that. This Pure Heels. I used this recently and it is actually very, very nice. This one here is from ColourPop. This one is, what is it? Vino uh, Rejuvenating Serum Boost from the 4th Ray. I want to try this because I think I've only used it a couple of times. So I don't really know how I feel about it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this. Okay, next let's choose a moisturizer, you guys. Hmm. And I did the same thing. Just kind of laid these out in my drawer just so it's easier for me to see them and pick them. And I really prefer this setup for my moisturizers. Ah, uh, what am I in the mood for? You guys know I love the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. Love that stuff. Honestly, I don't really have any moisturizers that I don't love at this point in time. I think, except for this e.l.f. Jelly Pop. Ooh, I do not like that. I actually need to declutter that. I do not like the water gel type moisturizers. Now for a primer, cool. But a moisturizer, no. Uh, do I want something creamy? You know what? The Elf is really nice. This watermelon is really nice. From um, Glow Recipe, this rose water gel cream. One of my absolute favorites. Yeah, she getting pulled. <laughs> this one, one of my absolute favorites. My girl Lily got me this. And oh my God, you guys. I be trying to hold on to this. It's so good. But we're going to go ahead and pull this one to go with the Vino Serum. Okay, and let's go ahead and pick a primer. This primer drawer is ridiculous, you guys. It, <laughs> it's a mess. It's a mess. 
I try to do some slight decluttering. I need to do a little more decluttering in here, but I'm not about to stress myself over no primer drawer, okay? Um, let's see. Well, with the foundations I have, I think they're more matte. Maybe one of them might be a little bit natural dewy finish. I think I'm gonna pick two primers. I'm gonna go with this Ulta Mattifying Face Primer because I love this stuff. Um, so I'm gonna pull this and then, oh, you guys, you know what? This actually, this Strawberry Whip from I Heart Revolution, I feel like I really, really like this. I really do. Let me pull this because I think I like this as well i cannot pull three primers what what is happening because i want something a little more moisturizing this mark jacobs this is really really nice too and i think this one is a little more moisturizing uh what is this invisible undercover i don't remember you guys is this mattifying or moisturizing ah I'm pulling way too many prime. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull the Marc Jacobs and the iHeart Revolution, <laughs> and I'm gonna put the Ulta, Ulta back. Okay, so yeah. Okay, we'll just do two. I'm gonna chill out. Okay, so now let's take a look at some concealers. Oh no, you know how you have your, should I do the Rare Beauty Concealer since I'm doing the Rare Beauty Foundation? That would probably be a good idea. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna pull my Rare Beauty Concealer to play with as well. Um, I just used my NYX Born to Glow. I love this stuff. Uh, Natasha Denona. It wasn't that long ago since I used this. My color pop pretty fresh. One of my absolute favorites. Okay, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I love this stuff. <laughs> of course, my OG favorite. My Juvia's Place. Do I want to do I? Do, mm, I should probably just pull my OG favorite. Yeah, let me just pull my OG favorite for now. So Juvia's Place. Uh, I think it's called I Am Magic Concealer. I do use the shade 11. So we're gonna pull this. Um, do I wanna do a new mascara? I kinda do. I have way too many mascaras, which means I need to start, you know, really, really going through them. And since I started wearing more lashes now, I really don't go through them. So, uh, let me see. Do I wanna do something affordable? Or a little more high end. This Nabla is actually really nice. Something fell. Oh, Bobby Brown. Hmm. Yeah, with mascara, it's like ciao. This is Blink. I'm sure I got that in a box because that's not something I would have bought. Mm. I got a bunch of these little tiny. These are good for travel though. I don't like to really use these at home because these are excellent for travel because they're so small. Okay, ciao. Mascara should not be this hard. Skinny mascara, mega slim. Hmm. Let me see what this looks like. Okay, so yes, this is definitely very skinny mega slim just like it says come on focus i'm gonna pull this i'm intrigued y'all remember when i said i was going to try out my color pop uh this little faux lash wardrobe thing i never even tried it i'm gonna pull it again we're gonna try it again <laughs> okay so it's really really cute let me see if i can get you a better view of it yeah it is really cute I'm gonna pull this again because, you know, I just have way too many lashes. It's ridiculous, but I'm gonna use these for sure, for sure. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and pick um, a setting spray. I'm gonna stay away from my smaller bottles because I like to save those for travel. I do actually need a 
like refresher type spray though and since I do already have these Mario Badescu's I'm gonna go ahead and pull one because I need to use these for sure um, but for setting spray I'm kind of leaning towards this Tarte Maracuja Miracle Mist to be honest with you so that's a front runner um, right now man the Mac prep and prime always a vibe hmm this is one this is a hydration spray that I think I got in one of my boxy charms they have been I just got like a whole box of like skincare stuff they have been sending out so much skincare I'm just like child I'm over it yeah so I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this Tarte Miracle Mist because I'm kind of feeling this right now. Yeah, you guys, I'll just show you right quick. I don't even do the unboxings anymore because honestly, I was supposed to cancel them and then I forgot and then I got a few things that I liked so I didn't cancel. But anyway, um, yeah, this was my BoxyCharm Premium that I just got. And look at this, like, where's the makeup, child? Ain't no makeup in this premium box. This is all skin. There's one makeup item in here, which is this Vesca Soft Matte Bronzing Powder. But I got here this Mineral Mist. I have here, I believe this is a mask, a gel mask. This is Earth Harbor a Cleansing Oil. This is... The Fenty Beauty, I'm, I'm really happy about this though. <laughs> the Fenty Beauty, what it do. And then I got these, you know, little cleansing pads or makeup remover pads. But child, where is the makeup? Okay. Okay, you guys. So um, I'm in my highlighter drawer right now. Just <sighs> about to pick a couple of highlighters. You guys know I love highlighters. It's ridiculous. I'm going to try and keep it simple today, you guys. Okay. Um. I did get a new highlighter though, you guys. Where is it? Uh, oh, you know how I was telling you I've really been enjoying like the Huda stuff? Oh my goodness. When I saw this, listen. First of all, the packaging is mad cute. I don't know if it's gonna try and get it to focus on this. Mad cute. Okay, and then look at this highlighter. It's like a rosy gold. Oh my goodness, child. Look at that. Do you see that? That is so beautiful. So yeah, we're going to pull this, okay? Because I have to try this out. I just have to. It's gorgeous. Okay, so coming down to the next drawer. Um, I have no idea, you guys, what I actually <laughs> want to do no idea this Dior it gets me every freaking time it's so so pretty um also is Marc Jacobs y'all gorgeous see if I can open this it has like that peachy vibe to it oh yo so so oh dang I want to pull this it's so gorgeous okay I think I might pull this and then I can try this. I'm not really big into liquid highlighters, but this is the Glam Glow Plumping Liquid Highlighter. I wanna try this. I think this might look really, really pretty. So I have quite a few kind of like peachy tone highlighters, but yeah, I'll pull these three. So I had to pick up the camera because my drawers are getting too low. Um, for bronzer, hmm. I just used my Huda bronzer and I really, really love this stuff. This Glowish by Huda Beauty. So I might pull this again just because I loved it so much. Um, I did grab a bronzer from, is this iHeart Revolution? Yeah, iHeart Revolution. This is a deep contour palette that I picked up from Beauty Bay when I was ordering that palette. You know, it looked pretty deep and so I was like, hmm. I kind of want to try it. It was, you know, really affordable. So this has a bronzer and a highlight in it. It's really cute. It looks like a little chocolate bar. It's kind of cheap feeling because it's just cardboard, but you know, it's iHeart Revolution. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and try this. 
along with the Huda Beauty Glowish. I haven't used my Morphe bronzer in a while and oh my goodness this stuff was the bomb <laughs> when I used it ugh, I need to try this again maybe next shot my stash I will pull this again I also got this one that's a little bit deeper when they came out with this one this one is leader but I don't know I felt like this one was like a little bit too dark quite honestly I don't know maybe I just didn't like the tone of it should I pull this I think I should pull this I'm gonna pull this and see how I feel about it now because you know feelings change okay you guys know this is the absolute hardest part for me blush it's so hard so I kind of need to just pick maybe pick a brand or just figure out what let's do it this way okay let's do it this way to keep it simple Actually, I need to pull my DJ's Unique Boutique because my girl is coming out with some new single shadows, some new quads, a new eyeshadow palette. And y'all know I'm about to do my face with some DJ's Unique Boutique products. Okay, so I definitely need to pull this. Let me open this. Okay, so um, <laughs> yeah, look at that. Do you see this? beautiful glowy coral blush I'm pulling this cuz you know I got to use my DJ products I do want to pull one of these Beauty Bay blushes though I have so many of these and child look you see how dark this is this looks like a freaking bronzer or something Merlot I need to pull this just to see if it's gonna make my face look bruised or not because it's so freaking deep. Do you see that? Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pull Merlot as well. And then I always need something kind of light and airy. Something kind of peachy. Um, I haven't used my Moira's in a while. Ah, uh, what are these? These are all my Milani's. Next. Okay. <gasps> I haven't. I just got this um, Juvia's Place one. I had ordered it when they first came out, but they sent me two palettes, eyeshadow palettes instead. And instead of me returning it, I just gave one to my niece. But this one is the Blushed Volume 1. I've been dying to try this. And it's funny because look. Look at that similar shades but not quite the same so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pull this so that's enough okay i got my three blushes that's it you guys okay it's time for powder setting powders um you know what i actually was looking through this drawer not too long ago um just to see what was happening and i have this elf this is what is this called this is a finishing powder in deep and I want to try this. I do. I want to see how this fares on my face, on my skin tone. So I'm going to pull this because I don't really know if I like it or not. So I'm going to pull this Maybelline Superstay 16 hour. This one I have in 355 Coconut. I feel like I always pull this. I haven't used my Too Faced in a while. I just put the one that I was almost finished with in my purse because, you know, it's a really nice powder to just throw in your purse. This is a brand spanking new one. Born This Way from Too Faced. This used to be my absolute favorite. This one is Spiced Rum. So I'm going to pull this to actually set my face to go along with that e.l.f. finishing powder. And then I need something for under my eyes. And honestly, I think I want um, a loose powder for under my eyes. Dang, my collab used to be my OG favorite. If you remember from way back, back in the day, this collab loose setting powder was my OG jizzle, okay? This is... Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder in Almond Caramel. I'm gonna pull this. I haven't used this in so long. I'm curious to see how I feel about it now after trying so many products. So, okay. 
we'll go ahead and pull that. So we have our powders and we have our blush. We already have our bronzer and highlight. Okay, so let's move on to the palette. Okay, you guys, so let's run through these palette selections really quickly because as you guys know, these are just palettes that I have chosen because I'm really, really feeling them right now. But it doesn't necessarily mean these are ones I'm going to use. So, <laughs> but these are what I have chosen. So, but first and foremost, okay, like I told you guys earlier, my girl DJ from DJ's Unique Boutique or just PGD here on YouTube. Chow, she is coming out with some bundles of four single shadows coming up on the 27th, which is Friday. Check out her website dj's unique boutique because she is going to be dropping some new singles you can get bundles of four so this is the first bundle here gorgeous it's kind of like the bricky reds and purples oh that's beautiful the second bundle is this kind of like green and gold toned bundle and then this last bundle here is like more earthy it has some beautiful like wine shades pumpkin shades chow all four bundles are beautiful i put all of mine in this nice little array palette here okay these are going to be her new singles you can buy them individually as well but i have mine all together here i will be using these for you guys to check out but just know my girl comes out with the fire makeup so definitely definitely pick these up you can use my code colorful camille to get 10 percent off if you do plan on ordering these or anything else from her website honey because she has so much stuff on there and she's also coming out with these cute little um palettes magnetic palettes for her shadows so if you do decide to purchase a quad and see it has on here dj's unique boutique very cute if you do decide to purchase one or more bundles you can purchase this little palette to put your shadows in as well now these shadows are um, from a previous release that she did that i just wanted to put in here because i love all of these gorgeous shimmers these are some of my favorite shimmers from her okay but these are the shadows that are going to be dropping and this is the cute little palette so definitely definitely check that out so you know this is going to be in my shop my stash because i'm going to be using these okay now i did just pick up these um huda beauty wild palettes i probably won't use all of these i'm not sure i might though who knows this one is the jaguar jaguar <laughs> jaguar jaguar now i can't even say it right because i play too much this is the jaguar palette gorgeous gorgeous this is the python look at that Ciao. packaging alone okay so this is the python my blue came a little bit dinged up i was going to you know have them send me a new one but i just repressed it i was like anybody got time okay so this is the python very pretty and then this one here is the chameleon i don't know if yeah there it goes you see that yeah and this one is like one of the prettiest to me look at that that is gorgeous okay pretty so i don't know if i'll use all of those all of these or maybe just two of them but i wanted to pull those for sure i pulled my sample beauty prodigy palette i haven't used this in a while this is a jewel toned edition you can see that and of course you guys can easily see why i love this palette why i'm drawn to it beautiful kind of unique shimmery shades as well as the bold jewel tone colors kind of getting ready for fall you know very very pretty i also pulled one of my elf palettes you know i really don't pull my larger elf palettes i have a few not a lot lot but i do have a few this one is the earth and ocean and you know i kind of forgotten that i had it but it's a really pretty blue and green toned palette and there's some really gorgeous shades in here some of the shades in here can be a little bit of a flop but some other shades in here are absolutely gorgeous so i decided to go ahead and pull this 
I wanted to pull one of my LA Girl eyeshadow palettes. This is the, what is it, 16 pans. This is the Hot Hot Heat uh, Aloha Vibes. You can see the shades there on the back. But yeah, this one, so, so pretty. I have so many palettes that have that same blue, purple, neutral color story, but um, I like playing with these. The shimmers are a little bit more gritty, a little more chunky, but I like playing with them. I don't know, I just do, and I love the mattes. So I pulled this. I also pulled a couple of my BH Cosmetics, um, you know, their little travel series palettes. I just realized that I have like a lot of these, <laughs> a lot. And I don't really use them like I want to with the color stories in their travel palettes, you guys. Man, Beach Cosmetics really stepped it up with these. This one is the Paris. I believe I showed this recently because I just got this not too long ago. And I still want to use it. I do. I still want to use this, so I'm keeping this. And then this Summer in Saint-Tropez. Really cute packaging. Those are like umbrellas. It took me a minute to figure that out, okay? That these are like just different striped umbrellas. Really cute. So, this is the color story for this one. So, it kind of like when you first look at it, it's like, eh. And then when you really look at it, it's like, oh. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those. So, it's kind of cute. Um, I pulled my... What's the name of this brand? Um... Dang it. What is the name of this, honey? Odin's Eye. <laughs> I pulled my Odin's Eye Norns palette, okay? Um, I've had this for quite a while. I just forget about it, quite frankly. But this color story, yo, I was like, girl, you need to use that palette. The shimmers look amazing. Um, and the fact that there aren't glitters and they're actually shimmers is like, yeah, got to do it. Got some nice, beautiful, deep tones in here. Warm, earthy stuff with beautiful pops of shimmer. You guys know I love that. Perfect for fall. So I went ahead and pulled that. I pulled my Nomad Cosmetics Lago de Como, which is, you know, the, what is it? Lake Como um, palette. This is one of my favorite blue palettes now. Yo, this creates a gorgeous blue eye look, okay? Absolutely gorgeous. And then it has that pop of like yellow gold in there, the green, the blues. I love this, so I pulled that. Why do I have two LA Girl palettes? I think I was going to decide between the two. This is the Pro Artistry eyeshadow palette, and this one is actually called Artistry. Um, but this one, I think I might combine them because it's basically the same kind of feel, the blues, the greens, the neutrals, but this one I think is a little more rich. Let's put them together. Okay. So yeah, after putting them together, yeah, they're not the same at all. They're absolutely not the same, but they actually, yeah, these are two beautiful different color stories. That's why I pulled it. Okay, I see. I see what you did there, KK. So yeah, anyways, I pulled both of these. I would say if I had to choose one that I was going to use, for sure, it would be this one. I just, I like this. I don't know. It's gorgeous. So it would be this one. This Makeup Addiction Flaming Love Rebirth. I love this palette just as a whole. First of all, I love large pans. I don't, I just like them big, okay? I don't know what to tell you. But I love the large pans. Of course, there's beautiful, beautiful shimmers in here. All of the mattes are the brown tones. So I think that's kind of what throws me with using this palette. But what I do like about it as well is that you can use these for contour and bronzer. So it's kind of like one of those multi-use palettes and then you can use these over here for highlighter. So yeah, it's a very nice multi-functional palette, but I think I would probably use this as a companion with something just cause it's just three brown mattes. I don't know, but it's pretty and I pulled it. Okay, so I did receive my Clarity Cosmetics Carnival palette. Very, very pretty. 
and true to form every time I receive a I think there might have been once maybe when I received a clarity palette and it wasn't one shadow that was broken or you know smashed so with this palette the shadow that came uh, broken for me was this blue I don't know if you can see it it's only like you probably can't see it but there's only like a half a pan in there right now because the other half crumbled and fell out but this is a beautiful palette okay ciao it's gorgeous so I pulled this and then lastly I have this car beauty um, what is the name of this make a statement so this is issue three make a statement look at this cover work I was supposed to use this a long time ago and of course never did they have huge mirrors in their palettes which is really cool my girl DJ sent this to me look at this look at this palette oh she pretty <laughs> Oh, pretty and it's 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 perfect because it's like if you don't really know what to do just do a quad just do stay over here use these four stay over well I don't know about that glitter but you know you can do a little carnival action mix them up with these or you want to just do a blue look just stay over here so beautiful highlighter don't think this is going to work for me but yeah this palette is gorgeous so yeah I pulled this just in case okay you guys so that is it for all of my shop my stash products i have all of my complexion and skincare my lashes and i have my eyeshadow palettes okay so that's it for this shop my stash thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me for those of you who hang out for the whole hour or so i love you to death even if you just watch a little bit i still love you to death <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. I just, for some reason, I cannot get my shop, my stashes down to a shorter time because I talk too much. So, anywho, hope you enjoy them. Once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed to your girl. And I will see you on the next one. Toodles! Bye.